15 minute in a hurry makeup. I'm starting out with an eye cream that's by Rock. It's an advanced retinol, which visibly reduces dark circles, puffiness, and fine lines. This video is not sponsored, but Rock did send me a bunch of free stuff, so we are going to use it. This is their contour cream for visibly firming the face and neck. One thing that I definitely like about Rock products is that a lot of dermatologists will recommend it, and the products generally do what they say they're gonna do. Next, I'm going to apply their Line Smoothing Max Hydration Cream to my face. And it's important to remember that when you're using retinols, you have to wear sunscreen. And the ones I'm using in this video are approved for day and night use. And if you've never used anything like this and you want to get into using some retinols, I recommend buying one thing at a time and testing it on your neck before going any further. Wait 24 hours and then try it in the area that it recommends. Now it's raining and I'm not leaving the house, so I'm not wearing any sunscreen today. I am, however, going to apply a primer to my face to fill in fine lines and pores. This is a new one that I got in my Ipsy bag by Complex Culture called Filter Out. It has a little bit of a blurring base to it and it's hydrating, so that's gonna work perfectly for me. I definitely have combination skin, so that means I'm oily in my T-zone generally and then dry everywhere else. Eye primer at my age and the status of my skin is not an option, so I just take a small pea size amount and then split it between my eyes. This is only for the eyelid and not for under the eyes. You wanna know why? If you put that under your eyes, it's designed to soak up oils on the skin so you can actually dry out your under eye. Now, there are many different ways of doing fast makeup and this is just one of them. Today, I'm using my mini palette by Saint. It basically has a contour color, a lip and cheek color, a base color and two color correctors. I've started to use this more and more when I'm in a really big hurry because you just slap it all on at one time and then blend it and it seems to be a huge time saver. Have you ever used a cream to powder foundation before? If you have, then you know how those cream colors just glide right across the skin. And then in a cream to powder, they actually turn to a powdery matte finish. This is not like that. This is that same creamy feeling when it goes on, but it stays a little bit dewy. And I can tell you right now, I've applied way more than what I needed here. I actually could have gotten by with half as much. I think less is more is definitely a good rule of thumb for me for my face. And then if I want to dramatize my look, I'll play up my eyes, my eyebrows, and my lips. My goal is to get my skin to look as natural and smooth as I possibly can. That is best achieved with good skincare first. If your skin is too dry, too oily, if it's peeling and you have different kind of problems, it's going to always be more difficult to add makeup to your face. Cream makeup is fun and fast. It's not magical. I think it boils down to what you like on your skin. The cream makeup I'm using today is by Saint. There are three or four other companies that make cream makeup that I'm very interested in trying out. So if you have tried other cream makeup, I would love to hear from you. For me, I don't have an endless makeup budget. I do have to cut myself off at a certain point every month, and so I can't just run out and buy everything. I know you understand. <laughs> the kind of brush you want to use for blending this is really going to be a dense brush, more like a foundation brush than anything, and I'm actually using the wrong kind. It's way too soft, so I'm having a little bit of difficulty. For the most part, I can use my fingers to blend this out and I'm going to switch to my fingers here momentarily, but then you have that makeup all over your fingers too. And of course, for those of you who like to use your beauty blenders, you can also use a beauty blender. Now I'm gonna speed up the rest of this so that we can get on with the other parts of the video. Okay, well, it's all blended out and now I'm back. 
and I'm just finishing up with that color corrector on the other eye. Again, I'm a little overzealous today and I've used a bit too much. And especially with cream makeup, if you use too much, it's definitely going to crease up. So if you're trying this makeup and it's not working for you, use half as much as whatever you're using. And of course, make sure you're wearing a primer as well. I don't care what kind of makeup it is, after a certain age, too much is going to just be a cakey, creasy mess. Now I've gotten to where when I'm in a big fat hurry, I like to just go ahead and use a cream shadow just all over my lid, which is what I've done. And then I've just got my e.l.f. no budge eyeliner and I'm using it and smudging it out to give myself a little bit more definition around my eye. And then I'd like to add a little definition under as well, so I just apply that liner to the brush and that way it goes on nice and softly. It also glides over those little imperfections that I've got under my eye as well. And then I'm adding a little bit more because I felt like I needed a little bit more. And I'm not a big powder person, but I do like my finishing powder. It's different than a setting powder, Setting powders are designed to keep your makeup in place and not crease. Finishing powders are meant to go over your entire look and make it look more airbrushed. At this stage of the game, I'm like, please give me airbrushing, give me blurring products. Let's blur it all, like from my toes to the top of my head. <laughs> Then for a couple of fill-in areas, I'm going to use my Lift and Snatch pen by NYX. This is a great type pen if you just want to add a few individual hair strokes to your eyebrows. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate your beautiful comments and compliments that you give me all the time. Thank you so very much. You are truly amazing and sometimes one of your comments or several of your comments just hit me the right way and just makes my day. So thanks. No matter what kind of eyebrow you're doing, I encourage you to use your spoolie after you've applied your color to dispense the color throughout your eyebrow and make it look more natural. Especially if you're using pencil and it's coming out blotchy looking. It just needs to be blended. I know nobody ever said you have to blend out your eyebrows, but you do. If you don't blend them out and you have sparse brows, they're probably going to look blotchy and unnatural. The good news is it's a super easy fix. Now Blink Cosmetics sent me some more of their products to try, and this one is their Lash Extension Tubing Mascara. Sweat proof, tear proof, steam proof. It's also non clumping. It's perfect for active lifestyle, sensitive eyes, oily skin, glasses wearers, contact wearers. I put it on and it lasts until I take it off with water, I might add. I know, I don't know how it can be all those things and then you just take it off with water, but you just slick it right off. It's so cool. There's a coupon code in the description along with a list of all the products that I've used during this video if you want to check anything out. And as always, if you have a question about something, I will do my best to help you. And if you're coming back to check out my videos every single day, but you're not subscribed, why? Why? If you're not sure how to find the products that I list in the video, I have started to do something new. And that is that on my newer videos, you can go to the comment section and in the top comment, I will have it pinned so that you can find the products and also how to follow. As always, I hope you have a blessed and amazing day. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Mwah. Love and hugs.